So first thing, and now again, you guys have graphing calculators, right? You can always check your answer using a graphing calculator. Please do check your answer with a graphing calculator. But I'm not going to give you credit if you give me some decimal from your graphing calculator. I want to see that you understand that if here is my angle or my coordinate point in polar form, I want to see that you can give me this angle in rectangular form, x and y's. So again, how, what is this relationship? And we've talked, we talked about this all last class period. x is equal to r cosine of theta. y is equal to r sine of theta. So r is 2. And then it's cosine times 4 pi over 3. y equals 2 sine of 4 pi over 3. Now, if you're stuck where is 4 pi over 3, then yeah, we have to kind of go back to our unit circle. All right. So what I would recommend doing here is just sketch. Well, we know that pi is halfway around a circle, right? Which is the same thing as 3 pi over 3. Would everybody agree with me on that assessment? Pi is the same thing as 3 pi over 3. Yes, that's halfway around the circle. So if I'm at 1 third, if I'm at 4 pi over 3, that means I'm just a little bit 1 third over. So therefore, that's going to be 4 pi over 3. Now you might say, well, what is that coordinate point? Well, that is the exact opposite of pi thirds. Because again, if you broke pi, half, half of a circle into thirds, you'd have 1 third. 2 thirds, 3 thirds. So you're just going an extra 4 thirds. So pi over 3, what is that point pi over 3? Again, we need to know this first quadrant of the unit circle. That's going to be 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. So it's the same point. It's just now what? Negative. So therefore, x equals 2 cosine of 4 pi over 3 is going to be a negative 1 half. y equals 2 sine, which is negative square root of 3 over 2. Twos divide out. Twos divide out. My x coordinate is negative 1, negative square root of 3. That's it. Now, again, like I said, you could type this in your calculator.